Hello everyone, Raven of the Retro Dev here, and welcome back to another awesome tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at connecting to a BBS, specifically the BBS uh, me and Eric run uh, for the Retro Dev called Error 200. And we are going to connect from inside of DOSBox. So the main thing that you need is you need DOSBox staging, vanilla DOSBox or DOSBox X. And you just want to open up the configuration file. And then you just want to go down to serial. And keep in mind, this tutorial is for the latest version as of this video. So you want to do modem and then listen port and then just set it to 23 for serial one. And the next thing we need to do is we need an actual client so that we could, you know, actually connect to, you know, the BBS. And I went on ahead and made a folder called net. I want to make another folder called TM. And then I am just going to drag everything over. Now I do provide a, a, uh, a zip file uh, of this. Uh, it's in the description, so it's all included. Um, it This program is completely free to use. Uh, it does whine a lot about it being unregistered, but it's fully functional. It's just when you close it, it takes forever to close because it has to tell you annoying things. But anyhow, everything's done. So now we'll just launch it. And then we'll do CD net TM and then we'll run TM and we'll get the configuration program here. Com port is com port one. The baud rate is how fast. Uh, keep in mind that some games don't work super great. And not all games lock to a uh, specific baud rate. So you may have to come back in here and lower this to play certain games if they don't lock. Uh, but most of the games on our BBS do. In fact, all of them do as of right now anyway. And we'll just leave the rest of it alone. Uh, don't really need to mess with it. For display, we have a color display. Uh, we are going to have a 25 video height, video cache on. Scroll bar, it's fine to leave that alone. The other thing I'm going to change is the memory. I'm just going to make sure that the memory limit's maxed and that the EGA slash VGA RAM is set to 64K. And you can play around with all the other stuff. Some of this stuff isn't relevant at all because we're not using an actual modem. We're telenetting. Um, and we're just going to end the installation, save the setup, and then it's going to go in here, see where we have our lovely down there, unregistered, and we're just going to escape at this blue screen here, and then we'll be met with this black screen, which also tells me that it's registered, unregistered. All right, so how do we actually connect to the BBS? Well, this is actually really simple. So ATDT BBS dot error 200 dot tech and we'll do a colon and then 137 because that's the port so atdt that's our command to tell us to telenet you know to the bbs and then bbs.error200.tech is the address and then the port and then we just hit enter we get a connect sign and we're there we even have fully functioning mouse which is always very cool although not everything on the bbs supports it and then we'll just sign in really quick uh, I think I'm signed in on the machine itself. So uh, we'll do an invisible login there. And then you can create an account. If you'd like to join RBBS, you're more than welcome to. Uh, it's still under construction, but a lot of stuff's there. Um, and there you go. And from here, you can you can add, you know, as many uh, BBSs as you want. You can, there's an address book. Uh, maybe do another tutorial on the actual program itself, but Less than five, actually less than four minutes, and you're already connected to a BBS. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. And like I said, tomorrow we're going to look at actually um, connecting using a real and or a proper like 86 box type emulator where it actually emulates the full machine and all the intricacies that go into... Don't worry, it's not actually that hard uh, to connecting. So thanks everyone for watching. See you guys in the next one. Have a lovely day.